Oh, you've gotten, you've gotten extra comfy, Demona. Okay. I should probably like, what, tweet out that I'm. Shut up, me ads. <laughs> Sorry, I went to get my. tweeting uh, uh, uh. excuse me I'm sorry yeah I said I'd stream on patreon and I felt bad because I didn't stream who's dinging me oh bitch okay give me a sec I gotta go congratulate my sibling on getting the job where are you? There you are. Bitch. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> I just was just informed that my sibling got uh, the job that they were signing up for. So that's fantastic. I just realized it's like, what? Monday? Tuesday morning? When? What day is today? Today's Wednesday? Oh, fuck me. <sighs> okay, well. Eldritch Vampire? I love your name says it isn't your first time chatting, so you've clearly said something before, but, like, I love your name. Hang on. I gotta put on my headband. Frog Enthusiast? That's also a good name. I can imagine someone who would disagree with you, though. <laughs> Early day stream? Uh, yeah, apparently. I... For context, uh, I've been up all night. Um, hope you're not late. Bitch, we just started! You just coming in! So, so for context, I've been up all night, um, not by choice, my legs are evil, so I thought, you know what, why don't we distract ourselves with, like, a different type of evil, um, and I've been wanting, who's, Sir, Serena Midori, Serena Green, <laughs> thank you for following, oh, conifer tree resubbed, I didn't see, I'm gonna just extra ding that, because I didn't see it. Hello, to B. I just finished an animation I thought would have taken much longer. I'm so happy. How about you? I'm in pain. So we're gonna distract myself. I'm I'm gonna distract myself. Uh, yeah. I've been up all night, not of my own volition, because my legs are evil. So uh, I've been wanting to check out the um Daryl Brooks case. The you know, and not because his surname shares in my first name. Uh, <laughs> I mean, my name isn't Brooks, but you know what I mean. Um, so I've sort of seen passing videos, but I haven't taken the time to really sit down and watch through things myself. And I thought, you know what? That seems like an interesting... Uh, it seems like an interesting time. Maybe we'll just have have a, a weird go about it and maybe in between I will flip between doing art it's like see I'm getting things done <laughs> I'm getting you're not gonna be happy <laughs> I'm getting things done <laughs> hope you like stop being evil soon I mean I would fucking hope I've been wearing my 
my I've got these little um, weights that you can tie. I guess theoretically you could tie them to the arms as well, but I only tie them to my feet. And I've been wearing them for like the last two hours, just like effectively goose stepping around my house, just lifting the legs as high as they'll fucking go. And uh, my legs just will not let up. I <sighs> might have to go back on a particular medication so I can deal with this shit, but whatever, we'll deal with that when it comes to it. Uh, morning on Malorica Lisa Day is work from home. Hell yeah. Sup, what happened? Uh, nothing, I mean, nothing particularly. I just thought we would look over the Daryl Brooks stuff. Because that seems interesting. Oh, top five wildest outbreak. That seems like a good... Sure. Once again, you... An interesting jumping on point. We'll get to see some of the weirdest shit going in, I guess. I've been up all night too, as I finally got a new job doing night maintenance at a restaurant, so I'm gonna have this on as I doze off before my next shift shift tonight oh i hope you have yourself a good sleep then hopefully um looking at insane will help is that ableist for me to say no probably not sorry i've had a particular video series project on my mind for ever it's just like every time something like this comes up i'm just like oh would they say this is ableist <laughs> just popping in my head anyways uh let's see what daryl brooks was getting up to i guess once again you're doing this tactic because you tried it it, to it's not a tactic it's facts we're talking it's facts. About to some other reason it's facts because I, I find reason. it hard to believe that um i'm gonna all let of a sudden state... nobody hears what i say I'm going to let the state make a record of why they believe it's objectionable because I haven't let them do that. We go over the top five outbursts. Oh, oh, fuck. There's, I, I was hoping it was just a stupid list thing. It's got someone talking over it. Goddamn. Uh, I don't think you can just tell a judge to, to stop like that in court. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but I don't think you can just go stop, stop. Stop to a fucking judge in the middle of their courtroom when you're on the defense. It just seems like a bad tactic. Oh, a new video series? I mean, I've talked about it on... I wouldn't call it a new series. I mean, I guess it's new in that it's not on my channel yet. Uh, but if you've been in my streams the last little while, like any of my editing streams recently, you know, you know what I'm working on. Awfulness is what I'm working on. Well, maybe we'll go into editing that. We'll see. This is a stream full of who the fuck knows what's going to go on. Who is this man and what did he do? I live under a rock. Okay, yes. For, so for context, Daryl Brooks. Um, did you guys hear about the Christmas parade? Um, hit and run, I guess, would be the proper. Uh, he He drove into a parade of people on the Christmas Day Parade. Uh, maybe I should refresh myself on exactly what he did. Let's see. Dare I will read off Daryl Brooks. Is there like a wiki on him? That'd be super helpful. Oh, okay, here we go. Who is Daryl Brooks? Ha, blah, 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 blah. Daryl Edward Brooks Jr. was detained by cops after the horror incident at the holiday parade in, oh god, Waukesha, Wisconsin. Oh, I got it! On Sunday, November 21st, 2021. The 40-year-old is said to be a career criminal and rapper who performs under the name of Math Boy Fly. <laughs> I, 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 you don't really hear a lot of rappers indicating their love of particular school subjects in their name that it is <laughs> is that common i don't really hear that very often according to wisconsin court records he has been convicted of a string of criminal charges who cares uh okay what happened at the waukesha christmas parade at least five people were killed and more than 40 people have been injured i thought it was six people 
um, including 12 children, after an SUV sped through the Waukesha Christmas Parade in Wisconsin. Um, I think from what I've seen, at least one of those five people killed was a child. Uh, crowds had gathered in the city for the annual holiday event when a red Ford escaped plowed into the p parade goers, sending bodies flying. The horrifying moment the SUV speeds towards the crowd was captured on the city's live stream, uh, as well as by bystanders filming the parade. Eyewitnesses estimated the vehicle was traveling at around 40 miles per hour. More witness accounts detail a dance team of young girls between 9 and 15 years old who may have been struck by the vehicle. Further footage of the devastating incident shows the car care- that should be, I think that should be careening, not careering. Careening through a barrier with the sound of a cop's gunfire ringing out as it flees the scene. The Waukesha Police Chief Dan Thompson clarified during a press conference that the shots were fired by a police officer attempting to stop the SUV. Authorities added that no one was injured by the gunfire. I, I would fucking hope! Local Police Chief Dan Thompson stated in a press conference that the vehicle struck more than 40 individuals, including some children. 11 adults and 12 pediatric patients were transported to six nearby hospitals. Fire Chief Steve Howard confirmed there were multiple fatalities, though he could not confirm the exact number at the time as families and loved ones were still being notified. A shelter-in-place advisory was issued seeing Carroll University in Waukesha plunge into lockdown as police searched for the driver before it was later lifted. So, um, yeah. That's that's who we're looking at today. We're looking at what's wrong with my legs? Um I have a thing called fibromyalgia, which is basically just a catch-all term for we don't know why the fuck you're in pain all the time, but here's some pills that sort of work. Um it it the best I could describe it is it feels like I'm constantly going through growing pains. Like if you remember when you were a teenager, maybe some of you are teenagers, in which case you probably shouldn't be in this stream, because I'm pretty sure I haven't marked 18 plus, but whatever. Um, if you remember growing pains, that's the most, like, like that's the best I think I could compare it to, because it's not quite, like, throbbing, but it is a constant tension pain in, like, my knees and below. Um, so it just feels like I'm going through growing pains all the time, which is bullshit! I thought I was done with this crap. I didn't even grow a whole lot when I was having them. Ah! Um, but yeah, my legs have been hurting all night to such an extent that I can't sleep, or I couldn't sleep, and I still can't sleep. So, we're gonna do something else. And I feel like at the moment I'm in too much pain to draw, so... So it makes perfect sense that I would just distract myself with an evil piece of shit. Oh, I'm sorry, that's that's difficult to see. Um, there you go. Mako Mako! Let's redo that. My ma has fibro, and I found out I may have it. Best way I can describe it is that I feel like I have creaky doll joints. Yes. Fibro will also cause, like, other problems. Uh, some people have talked about fibro fog. Which I don't think I had a problem with, but it's hard to tell now because I'm a stoner. <laughs> so I, at this point, I just sort of attribute it to the fact that I'm a stoner. Um, late growth spurt, oh, that'd be nice. If I could just shoot up to seven feet tall. <sighs> that'd be very, very nice. Um, yeah, fibro can cause, like, other things. Fibro fog, um... IBS, that one's bullshit. Uh, although, now that I'm, like, older, I have, for the most part, figured out how to manage it. And the answer to that is have a stool in the bathroom and drink coffee. <laughs> uh, ow. Oh, it also makes you tired, which is kind of fucking bullshit. Like, try to get some work done and you just tire all the time unbelievable anyways uh i figured we would distract ourselves with uh, an evil piece of shit to distract myself from my evil piece of shit legs curious can you get those pain in ribs uh i would imagine you can get fibro pain anywhere 
Hang on. Aha, there is a wiki. Da 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 da. We'll have some fun. Learn. Yeah. Uh, presence of chronic widespread pain fatigue, waking unfreshed. What? Oh. I mean, yeah, I figured that's the, the code with the fatigue. Cognitive symptoms. That would be fibro fog. Lower abdominal pain. Oh, that's probably IBS. <laughs> <laughs> Cramps, uh, also IBS, and depression. I mean, yeah, if you're in pain all the time, you're going to get kind of depressed about it. Uh, the cause of fibromyalgia is unknown, but it's believed to involve a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Yeah, I've heard of this. Uh, some people have gotten fibromyalgia after having accidents. Like, if I'm remembering correctly, the reason that I didn't stray IBS, you mean... Poops and shits and. Please don't tell me that's the German word for irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> um, because that <laughs> is too funny. Pretty much everyone in my family has IBS, and the way my life has been going, I feel as if I'm on the chopping block. IBS is tolerable. Provided, one, you know you have it, and two, you know how to work around it. Uh, I can't speak for anybody who has the opposite side of IBS, because I think when you have IBS, you can either get chronic constipation or chronic diarrhea, and I have the former. Um, I didn't know that's what it was when I was a kid. I did not learn that it was IBS until, effectively until I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia, and then they sort of just threw in, like, oh yeah, these... The fact that you haven't been able to shit for your entire life? Oh yeah, by the way, that actually ties into the thing that we just diagnosed you with. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> it's like, y'all had a fucking potential diagnosis and I've just been diagnosed my whole life with chronic constipation? Go fuck yourself! Sorry, I'm getting... Ugh, sorry. <sighs> oh, the treatment of fibromyalgia is symptomatic and multidisciplinary. Yeah, the word for IBS is today getting high is blunts and smoking. <laughs> I love it. Uh... And meditative exercise. Why well, haven't been doing meditative exercise? And I fucking hate yoga. <laughs> oh, do tai chi. Maybe I'll do chai tai chi. We'll see. Uh, mindfulness. Fuck off. Psychotherapy. Acupuncture. Oh, okay. Recommends aerobic and strengthening exercise. Yeah, that's that's what I'm doing today. It's just weights on my legs. Weights on my legs. Anyways, let's get back to Daryl Brooks. Daryl Fibrooks Myalgia. First <laughs> of defendant Darrell Brooks in the Waukesha Parade. Oh, are they gonna be calling him Darrell Brooks the whole time? Is his name Daryl or Darrell? Fuck. Tragedy trial. Welcome to Sidebar, presented by Law and Crime. I'm Jesse Weber. I've never been checked for it, but the fact that my parents used to take me to the hospital when I was really young to make me poop tells me something. Yeah, it it should not be that difficult for you to take shit. But there are ways to get around it. One, drink coffee. Even if you don't like coffee, there are ways to get around it. As a Canadian, my way to get around it is I drink ice caps, which are basically iced coffees that you get from Tim Hortons. Um, but also, the squat position on the shitter. Put, like, put your feet up on something that is maybe three quarters of a foot off the ground. Uh, I use the the lid for our laundry bin. Uh, or, like, downstairs we have this little, um, it's like a storage container or whatever that sits on the back of the toilet. You put that down in front of yourself. You prop your feet up on it when you're sitting on the toilet. It makes it, like, a thousand times easier. Just... Oh my god, things that I wish I fucking knew before I was traumatized as a child because my shits were too large. 
<laughs> the trial of Darrell Brooks Jr. out of Waukesha was. Oh my God! You talk really. Been Your face. Else. On one hand, we can't forget what this trial. Uh, is. Sometimes when you're listening to these like voiceover videos, you sort of forget that they're attached to a face. Pure espresso just empties you out, but also fiber on an empty stomach, but don't expect to do anything else that day. I mean, yeah, but also when you've, like, spent however many days not shitting, it, it, it's like, oh, if I have to spend one day either sitting on the toilet for hours trying to get it out, or just shitting it out in one go and then being tired for the rest of the day, I'm gonna pick the latter. Also... Anybody else who has extreme IBS and has had it for years will understand the fucking, the struggle with trying to get a doctor to take you seriously. Because as soon as you tell a doctor, oh yeah, I've been constipated for a couple months now, they just flat out don't fucking believe you. But when you've been effectively training since you were a baby, that shit's not hard to do. That shit's not hard in the slightest. That is the norm. But yes, prop your feet up, drink coffee. Uh, if there are other ways to get around it, I couldn't tell you. Those are the two that work for me. Yeah. What the trial is about. You have a defendant who's been charged with over 70 crimes. Miralax helps me out when I mix it with orange juice. I fucking hated that fiber mix shit because it never helped. That shit and, like, e uh, enemas and suppositories. None of that shit fucking worked. All enemas and suppositories did was make my ass really fucking hot for some reason. <laughs> And I'm not talking about, like, physical appearance. Like, my ass was on fire. It, it was so dumb. It just made my butt hot and it did nothing else. Crimes for the Oh, wait. Um, sit-ups. Sit-ups also help. Provided it's not, like, months old. Okay, back to... Stop talking about poo. <laughs> driving his SUV into a group of holiday parade goers. Oh, that's a look. Oh my god. Oh, those eyes. Why do they look like... They're very anime in their... This one in particular. Very anime in its shaping. But <laughs> that's a... That's a look. Back on November 21st, 2021, ultimately resulting in... Wait, so did he have the dreads when he was arrested? ...of six people and injuries to dozens of others. And this is a very serious case and a very tragic case. But at the same time, we can't forget that this trial is incredibly unique and strange because the defendant has chosen at the very beginning of trial to represent himself. And it has been a roller coaster ride of fights between him and the judge, him getting kicked out of court. He took his shirt off at one point and he brings up. The Ew! <laughs> he, I'm sorry, he. He what? He, he took his shirt off? Legal theories that seemingly have no basis in fact or law that delay the whole proceedings. And this is partially due to the fact that we believe Brooks identifies as a sovereign citizen. Oh, as someone who believes God. that they're not under the jurisdiction or authority of the government. So we thought, why not revisit the top five outbursts of Darrell Brooks during this trial? And I like to Now I wonder, like, these are the top five. So that implies that there were more, right? How many... How many of these outbursts should I be expecting? ...start with a particularly bad one. You see, at one point, Brooks called as a witness his ex-girlfriend, Erica Patterson, as he was present presenting his case. <sighs> now, she had previously testified for the state, uh, and it's alleged that he, Darrell Brooks, got into a fight with Erica Patterson and attacked her right before he drove his car into the parade. So when she was on the stand, he wanted to show that she wasn't a good mother and that she's not a credible witness and that she wasn't telling the truth, particularly about the last time that she had had contact with him. And that's when, while she's on the stand, he pulls out these photographs and the state objected because they hadn't been shown these before. And outside the presence of the jury, Prosecutor no. Zach Witchow talked about what would happen if these photos were allowed in, and he revealed something very bad about Brooks' <gasps> Oh, past. no! And no! It... No! I think I heard about this! I didn't know there were photos! You... You mu... You fucking what? Okay. I, you know what? I'm sure this guy explains it. And as you'll see, 
Brooks was not too happy about it. Three, I believe that these photographs are designed to make a suggestion to the jury that Erica Patterson is a bad mom. I think that that's what the defendant is trying to do. And if we're going to go down that road, then we would be forced to counter that claim. First of all, it doesn't make her an incredible witness, if it's even true. And second of all, if we go down that road, we would be forced to counter that claim by pointing out that not only does the defendant not live with the child in question, he doesn't live with any of the other children that he has. He <laughs> impregnated Erica Patterson when she was a minor in Nevada, and for doing so, he was convicted of statutory sexual seduction, pled guilty in March of 2007 to that felony offense, and is a sex offender on the registry as a result. So if there's any causation that would lead to Erica Patterson being a bad mom, Mr. Imagine being a fucking sex offender and then trying to be it all like, yeah, the child I raped is a bad parent. It's like, maybe they're a bad parent because you didn't let them stop being a fucking child? Mr. <laughs> Brooks has a direct role in that causation. And that's the object to that. I'm not Because that's a lie. Let him at finish. the end of the day, let him we, finish. We're going to open the Mr. door on that. No, since he want to make a record and not be accurate, so let's be ac accurate all on the record since you think you know so much. Once so again, we can Mr. open the door. Oh, please fucking explain to us the excuse for why you think statutory rape of a minor was a great idea. Being we can loud, open the door on how old she told me she was. Interrupting. We, we can ask that question is too then. Over the top. Did you, that? Did you right know now? that? Mr. Brooks, I'm ordering you to sit down and to let us know. Disrespectful. Interrupting. We can ask that question. Over the top. Animated right now. Did you know that? Mr. Brooks. Bitch, I don't believe you. Did you know that? 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 Did you know we're just going to take an early lunch, one hour, we'll be back, and uh, unless he brings that letter, Dog and he can show it is inadmissible, she on. will not be questioned, <laughs> and under 9611, I will yeah, declare the cross-examination closed. Know where, you know, where, Thank you, we're in recess, one hour. Happened, right? Get your facts straight. So let's, let's <laughs> open the <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, the, the zoom over to the eagle, they're just like, Justice! Man, get your facts straight. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a little funny to zoom in on the eagle. I mean, I guess it's not justice. It's more freedom, but... <laughs> One, we're in a court setting. I don't think of freedom in the setting. Uh, but two, it, it's really funny to see them, like, zoom in on that. Oh, God, I brain farted. Well, I completely fucking forgot what I was saying. Okay, rip. <laughs> on all of it, then, so we can get all of it on the record. Since you think you know so much. You did, did you know she said she was 18 when I met her? Did you know that? Now, luckily, uh... as I said, this was outside the presence of the jury, and that is very... Okay, yeah, so they didn't directly state it. But, when he said that she was a minor, uh, and there were pictures, I'm sure you can think of the first thing I started worrying about. But, they didn't outright state that Daryl Brooks was trying to submit child porn to the court, so... I'm going to assume that she was above legal age by that time, and it was just being brought up that obviously you can't sexually shame a woman in order to prove that she's a bad mom after you statutorily raped her. Statutorily definitely is not a word. Uh, Good thing for Brooks that they didn't see that. Clearly he's trying to relitigate his past relationship that he had with Patterson and whether or not he should have been convicted of that sex crime, and of course, this is just another example of him being removed from the courtroom. You know, look, Brooks has repeatedly made statements that this process is totally unfair, that he's not being heard, and he adamantly denies that he's- I didn't do it! What? You don't believe me? How dare you not listen to me? <laughs> 
trying to deliberately obstruct the proceedings. He feels that he's just trying to get his word out and his rights protected. Oh, okay. I remember what I was going to say. It's kind of funny that they zoom in on the eagle and the, the freedom and justice aspect or whatever as he's screaming that, given that, like, Daryl Brooks basically turned the courtroom into a fucking circus. That, that's, that's how I've understood the case. In fact, in another major outburst and show of disrespect to the court and the procedure, he yells at the judge about what this trial is about. I don't care what you believe fully. All right. It's not a game. We, I don't take I this have, as a game. That's what, that's what nobody, you that's what nobody, you don't got to explain nothing to me. Do you want that's to, what you don't understand. You think you that this is a whole game to, to me. Question? This is not a game to me, Your Honor. Not Did she actually say that it's a game to him? Because, like, otherwise... I mean, when they're putting the words out there themselves, sort of just makes me think that he does think it's a game. Nothing about this is a joke. I never That's what... Are you sure? Y'all don't understand. But there's and it's unfair. It's... He, he literally starts talking every single time that she tries to get a word in. Let's let's go back. It like I feel like every single time the judge has given him a second to say his piece and then waits for him to finish and then starts talking, that's when he chimes in again and inter interrupts her. I don't care what you believe fully. All right. It's not a game. We I don't take I this have, as a game. That's what that's what nobody that's what nobody you don't got to explain nothing to me. Do you want That's what you don't understand. <laughs> see, see, she she gave him a second, tried to say something, he interrupted her. You think you that this is a whole game to me? Question? This is not a game to me, Your Honor. Not, nothing about this is a joke. I never That's what y'all don't joke. understand. But there's and it's unfair, it's unfair, on. and it's disrespectful to me. And then when she doesn't immediately start talking, he reasserts himself. It's unfair. She's continuing talking. It's unfair. Like, he... Wow. That you think I would come in here purposely and treat this like a joke or a game? I never said... Now he's standing up. He's getting aggressive. I mean, he was already aggressive. Uh, I'm going to deny that comment because I think that word is inappropriate in some contexts. Is the audio supposed to be peaking? No... Sorry, it may just be a little too high on my end. I apologize for that. Tell me if the audio is too high or too low. Most people think he's trying to irritate the judge to make her yell at him. If she snaps and yells, he can then claim a mistrial. Oh, that is 100% what he was trying to do. Uh, a lot of the time, people like this, um, they push and push and push and push, and they're effectively counting on your negative reactions so that they can then victimize themselves. Because now you're yelling at them. Now you're the crazy person. Why are you yelling? We're just having a normal conversation. And now all of a sudden you feel crazy because you're like, this isn't a normal conversation. You've been nothing but unnecessarily aggressive towards me. And now you're going to pretend like I'm the one in the wrong? Like, th straight up, this is a, a, a manipulative abuse tactic. Hello, Ultimate Trash 993. I think they mean the court audio. I have no idea. Oh. P P said it was a joke. What type? What type? What type of? What type of statement is that? Mr. Your life is not on the line. Mine is. And you think that I, I think this is funny? I don't think it's funny whatsoever. So, I so I think, Your Honor, with all due respect, I think you so should show some respect. So we're going to take a five-minute break. Oh. And when we come back, the jury's coming out, and you need to call your next witness. Thank I you. demand you respect me, the man on trial for murder. B bitch how entitled he's like it doesn't matter that i'm the criminal it doesn't matter that i'm the one I'm on the defense here it doesn't matter i'm supposed to be defending myself i deserve your respect oh ho, ho, ho. thank you we are no nah, you, you're not rushing me to judgment i don't care what you're talking about unbelievable to fucking i i'm gonna waste all of the court's time i don't care what you say that he's saying this to a judge. A judge. I sometimes have to remind myself to who he's speaking to. And you know, there is so much discussion about Judge Darrow here showing this restraint. You know, why didn't she kick him out of the courtroom sooner? Why didn't she kick him out multiple times? And I think there's one theory that at least I believe 
is that she is giving him so much leeway, so much opportunity to reel himself in, and she's deliberately making sure that she doesn't prematurely silence him or kick him out of the courtroom too quickly, because the theory is, is that if he's convicted, an appellate court then can't say that she was unfair to him, yes. right? The only person who buried his case was Darrell Brooks himself, that she wasn't being unfair or violating his rights, that she gave him every, every opportunity to yes, correct yes, his yes. behavior. And some believe that this is a sign that he shouldn't be allowed to represent himself anymore, but that's... Yeah, this is... I... In fairness, I would... I guess I could say, like, people who represent themselves well don't tend to jump into the spotlight because they aren't quite as ludicrous. But I've seen... I've only ever seen instances where someone tries to represent themselves and it goes horribly, horribly wrong... Not in that they're just wholly unequipped, not just in that they're wholly unequipped for the situation, but in that they are effectively trying to turn the courtroom into a, a fucking circus show. Uh, like, they they go in completely ignorant as to what is supposed to be going on in a court setting. Uh, th much like this guy, they demand respect from people whom they should be giving respect to. Um, and they try to use their manipulative tactics on the court itself, and it doesn't fucking work. And I'm sort of just... I, I understand the right to defend yourself to a degree, but I also question... Like, how effective that's going to be in cases where the defendant is clearly mentally ill, but still wants to defend themselves. Like, I don't think anyone can deny that Daryl Brooks has some fucking issues. But, like, are the issues to such an extent that Daryl Brooks should not be allowed to defend himself? Because all of his issues are just going to obscure the his ability to actually do that it it i just sort of question that because i feel like most people with like a cursory glance of mental illness can recognize that this guy has legitimate problems granted not no, nothing that he could have would justify or excuse the the chaos and fear and trauma that he created. Um, like, he, he irreparably ruined so many people's lives with what he did. Uh, th there's no real getting around that. You can't defend what he did or excuse what he did by saying that he, oh, he's bipolar and therefore he was mad, so just, like, you know, let him go. Like, that's not how that fucking works. Um... But I do, I, I do question, I do question the court allowing him to defend himself. Like, even if he were not blatantly using manipulation tactics and trying to gaslight the judge. Like, if he wants to argue that, like, I don't even know if he does argue this, but if he wanted to argue that, like, oh, I wasn't in control of my actions because bipolar, therefore angry, therefore lashing out, like, doesn't that inherently set a case, like, a reason as to why he should not be defending himself? Because he's effectively admitting that he can't think rationally and lashes out when he gets upset? It, it just seems weird! Wait, why did people get rid of mental hospitals? That's what I want to know. Um, well, for one thing, a lot of mental hospitals were really, really poorly run. Um, they would just cram in. Like, that. that's that's a conversation in and of itself. Like, for one thing, they would just cram in as many patients as possible, to such an extent that some people who, like, did not need to be in a mental hospital were in a mental hospital. Um, and being in the conditions of those mental hospitals usually ended up giving them actual legitimately serious mental issues um b there are probably a lot of documentaries that you could watch i used to i used to frequent a lot of like documentaries about that kind of stuff so 
I am aware of like the deplorable practices that were done in some hospitals where like some patients were just left to effectively left in their own mess a lot of the time these patients were like naked curled up on the floor there was like mess and, and fecal matter everywhere because they were just going wherever there there were barely any nurse staff to like actually attend to these individuals uh, there's one i'm sure there's some documentary i can't remember specifically what it was i want to say it was in the 70s or 60s or something but basically a, a camera crew went into a mental hospital and filmed the deplorable uh state that the the patients were living in and sort of blew the fact that these hospitals were not being appropriately one run wide open and then the government kind of just decided fuck it and now a huge portion of that population is unfortunately out on the streets because they were in mental hospitals because they didn't have a support system so that's why we can't have nice things he was found competent and made multiple nuanced legal arguments throughout the trial he's capable of controlling himself when he wants his outbursts are calculated that is fair i just sort of question i don't know it it just seems weird to allow people to defend themselves if they are just going to use it, like, as a means of disrespecting the court to this degree. Uh, like, all it does is waste everybody's time. It, in the case of the mother that he was berating for being a bad mom because he knocked up a child. Um, like, that's not fair to her. Like, why the fuck did she have to get dragged into this shit? So he could yell at her for him being a rapist? Like... If she had any sort of trauma from her prior interactions with Daryl Brooks or Darrell Brooks, um, that is unnecessarily re-traumatizing a victim. Like, it just seems baffling for them to actively allow people to make a mockery of the court system like this. Like, we already have so many fucking problems where, like, you know, you've got, like, a, a twisted cop who plants evidence so that they, they can lock someone away for 20 years or whatever like we already have so many fucking problems why would we just further complicate situations by allowing like clearly bad faith actors like this to just go ham wild and abuse people for the last like this is just a last uh this is a last ditch effort to have some control and power over his life that that's all this is it I, I just don't understand. Like, I would feel like after one day of proving that they are unwilling to be reasonable, I, I feel like they would they should be forced to have counsel. Tis right. And while there could be opportunities for judges to step in and say that the defendant is not competent and an attorney should be assigned at this point, this judge is not at that point. She believes that he is doing all she of this. She can't take it back after granting him that right. That's not really how it works. I, yeah, I I do understand that. It just... I, al I, I should specify, I also kind of worry about um, legal stuff being televised to this degree. Because, like, it, you know, every once in a while in a few cases, it's it's interesting to see court proceedings play out in real time. However... Um, with the, the uptick in, like, videotaping of trials and, like, that shit sort of being analyzed online, I gotta admit, I do worry about bad faith actors taking advantage of that for, like, a last-ditch clasp for fame. Clasp is not the correct word. Clamor? A, a last, a last-ditch clamoring for fame. Or, like, a, a last-ditch clamoring for power or influence. Uh, like, what if somebody goes in, like, with the intention of, I don't know, like, getting fangirls or something? Like, Jeffrey Dahmer, there are, we know about hybristophilia, we know about serial killer fangirls. Uh, fucking, what's-his-face, the... Ugh, oh, I forget his name. The... 
he was one of the sexy killers where all the girls were like, oh, I don't think he did it. Why don't you think he did it? Oh, because he's hot. <laughs> okay, bitch. If anything, that's when you worry about them more. <laughs> Some of the things Brooks said made it seem like he wasn't fully aware of the extent to which the trial was live. Oh, no, I, I believe that with Brooks. The problem is that, like, the uptick in cases like Brooks and, like, that going effectively viral and being publicized in the media to such a degree, I do sort of worry that we're going to see, like, an uptick in that sort of behavior where, like, people are clamoring for attention and they're doing so by making a mockery of the court system and re-traumatizing victims for fucking no reason. Aside from, like, their, uh, narcissism. The TikTok killer? The, <laughs> the what? I gotta look this up, fuck. The TikTok killer. Oh, wait, is this that guy that, like, Everybody on TikTok was gushing over like, oh, he's so cute. Oh, yeah, fucking TikTok trying to free convicted killer because he's too cute. <sighs> TikTok is awful. <laughs> I've been talking with, my, my friends have been bringing up like how awful TikTok is. And I'm just like, aside from hyperlinks, I've literally never been on TikTok and I plan to keep it that way. <laughs> There's definitely issues with it, but I'd hope that the common citizen would see it and agree they're crazy or acting in criminal intent, and there's no he said, she said, or mistrust of the court transcripts. Okay. But the problem is that, like, the people I'm talking about being bad faith actors, like, in particular, the ones who would want to, like, get a fan base or something, they're not looking for the common citizen. They're looking for people that, like, fit into their particular brand of manipulation. You know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm proven wrong. I, I have been proven wrong on things before. I used to think that uh, non-binary being more of a thing was going to, like, uh, make life more difficult for, uh, like, I, I guess I can't really say full trans, but, like, we'll say general trans individuals. Uh, but I was completely wrong on that, which, yay! Um, so, you know. Fingers crossed I'm wrong. Fingers fucking crossed I'm wrong. Deliberately to delay these proceedings, and he knew what he was getting himself into when he decided to represent himself. And I think at the very... Oh, it's up to the discretion of the judge whether the trial is broadcasted, so if they feel like the defendant would use it that way, they can definitely say no. That's good to know, if that's true. <sighs> Binary trans? Yeah? Well, yeah, I guess that... Yeah, non-binary, bi <laughs> yes, binary trans is exactly what I was looking for, thank you. <laughs> exactly, he's so cute that some other prisoner would love to have him as their bitch. Yeah, don't deny the prisoners their, their pretty little plaything. At least, it seems that Mr. Brooks has issues with authority, because if you listen to what he said to Judge Darrow multiple times, this one in particular was really egregious. I'm a grown man with grown kids. Don't nobody ain't nobody gonna talk to me like that. Nobody. I'm a grown man with grown kids. That I don't take care of. I don't think you get to bring up your kids at that point. All you fucking did was squirt your splooge into someone. I, like I, I feel like that's not particularly fucking difficult if you could do it into a sock every morning. I don't have a problem with doing what you ask me to do, not tell me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Daryl Brooks, could you please stop interrupting the court? You're being insanely disrespectful. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel that you are being disrespectful. Wild. Wild. I'm fine with doing things that you ask me to do, not tell me to do. So inherently telling the judge that, like, you have no power over me. This guy really out here trying to fucking chase off the Goblin King. You have no power over me. <laughs> J. 
Just like when I asked you about subject matter jurisdiction that you have yet to prove on the record. But somehow I'm being... I'm sorry, he's bitching that the judge hasn't proven the case against him? She's the judge! Intentionally disruptive... Uh, come on, man. Stop. Just stop it. Jury's coming out. All right for the jury. Did he just say that the judge was being intentionally disruptive? The judge was intentionally disrupting the court proceedings? Isn't that her fucking job when shit's not going right? <laughs> Have you talked about the sovsit stuff at all? What the fuck is the sovsit stuff? Is that the user who's getting lambasted because they have a cutesy art style and everyone's like, um, your characters are child coded, therefore child porn. Sexualizing minors. Is that the one I'm thinking of? Because I've heard of it. That's about it. Or is this something completely fucking new and awful? The unkabunka part of my brain wants to just break his kneecaps to make him sit down. <laughs> fucking right? Like, we immediately get so aggressive because he's being, like... He, like, he's obviously the one being disruptive, and it makes you actively aggressive. And he's counting on that, because he will use your aggression against you. I, I have someone in my life who fucking does this, and I've gotten to the point where, like, any time I'm around them, I just shut down. Because if I try and engage or interact, they're just gonna make me feel like I'm a crazy person. Crazy. Not gonna work. And that is not the only time- No, no, Sovereign Citizen Brooke used it as an argument through the trial. Oh, yes, I'm aware of that. We haven't touched on it yet. Mostly because this is the first video we watched. It hasn't come up yet, aside from, like, mentioning that he is one. And I groaned because that was stupid. <laughs> ...time that he barked at the judge and told her what her job should be. If you don't make a record, so then what? I can't it, make a ruling. Why did that- Can you guys see this? He's got abs. He's got a full-on six-pack in his forehead. And told her what her job should be. Mm -hmm. If you don't make a record, so then what? I can't it, make a ruling. It threw people off. Doing them forehead crunches. Luke, they weren't ready for it. They scared. Not wait, the wait. only time that he barked at the judge and told her what... For context, I'm not making fun of his looks. He's a very handsome man. I just... I like seeing shapes in things that are not those shapes. And I see abs on his forehead. <laughs> what her job should be. If you don't make a record, so then I what? can't it, make a ruling. It threw people off the loop. They weren't ready for it. They scared of it. That's what it is. Come on, man. <sighs> Mr. Brooks. Come on, man. Stop. When you, you Stop are, it. You aren't Stop even it. letting me ask Stop it. You're a public servant, Your Honor. Wait. <laughs> is she getting him for, like, not, uh, what's the word? Um, not submitting something to the court? And he's just like, oh, what? You're surprised? You can't defend yourself because you have no defense prepared? What? You scared? You scared? It's like... I'm sh like you bitched when people brought up the fact that you were a fucking sex offender. Clearly, you weren't ready for that. You scaredy little bitch. I respect your courtroom. I you respect do. you. Your public servant, <laughs> though. Your job is to be the referee. The fucking the clapping to overtake her and get her to shut up while he's saying, "I respect you. I respect your court," and he's not letting her talk. Is it or is it not? You stated so yourself on record that your job is being the umpire. You're right. My absence in this matter can be excused. Yes, sorry. you can be excused. My Thank apologies. You. My apologies too, but it needs to be some truth. Especially when See, I, I like this other fucking lawyer. Because he's he's clearly got the victim in mind here. But it's just like, yeah, she doesn't need to be here. Can we please let her go? Yes. Fine. Good, good man. Good Good show. My apologies too, but it needs to be some truth. Especially when we're talking about stuff that didn't even happen, but they're allowed to get on the stand and say that it happened when they know it didn't happen. So let me make, I'm going to make a record about what this he's referring to man. in count 77. Truth be told, I could do a two hour show on all of the disruptions and the hostile moments in court. But I have to tell you, after reviewing it, there is one moment in particular, one time, when I was actually nervous for the safety of the people in the courtroom, and including the judge. And this oh, is, the is this the fucking stare down? I've seen the clip of this. This is, like, flat out. He was clearly, he's, we'll, we'll now, you'll, you'll when see. When the prosecution started presenting an issue, and how the prosecutor, Sue Opper, 
said the word defendant. Take a listen. There's an issue that we do need to take up potential as to a uh, witness by the name of Abel Lescano. He has prior criminal history. Thank you. So as long as the jury's out, we should probably discuss that. I would like to provide the defendant and the court with so that had to be that had to be said. So it's the defendant. Oh my God! This bitch really be out here complaining that someone else is someone else sounds too fucking aggressive when they're addressing him. Cry over it. That's not how it was said. That what is going on? I think I missed some context. My legs hurt. My legs are evil. So we're distracting ourselves with the different type of evil. This is Daryl Brooks or Darrell Brooks. Whichever it is. That was how I said. You want to run the record back? Mr. Brooks. So I'm the only one. I got one. Mr. I got Brooks. one ear that work, and I heard that. This, this is, this has got to be a nightmare for the stenographer. I feel, I feel so fucking bad for whoever is on that, that machine. This to benefit Moment. you so that no, you. No, it's not. Is stenographer, is stenography the correct? The court record keeping person. I hope you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. I'm not sure if stenographer is the correct term. I understand Ain't none your of this to benefit me, so let's has be clear a prior about that. record. Your Honor, when I leave the table, I'm away from the courtroom, and I have to elevate my voice. This is the so alleged record of Abel Lescott. Stop okay. talking. Come on, man. Like, I don't okay. know who y'all be thinking y'all fooling. I accept the value in terms of value. This uh, document. One more interruption, and you're going to be removed to the next what? courtroom. Wow, you can, like, see... How she's living. Oh, she is trying to keep it together. Look at that. Like, the, the tight lips, the cursed breath. She, fuck, she's so angry. Damn. It's not what I want to do. Do not interrupt Attorney Opper. So can Your you Honor, tell, I can believe he has seven prior criminal convictions. The uh, OWI second from 19... Did this bitch just slam? Oh my god, actual toddler. It's the right word? Okay, good. 1997, and OWI 3rd from 1997, and OWI 4th. Did you hear that? Is that him breathing? Oh, so, guaranteed, he just clasped his hands together, slammed his, his elbows on the table, and now he's staring down the judge. Watch, we're gonna cut back to him. And he's gonna be li listen. You can hear him fucking breathing. You can hear the intensity of it. Seven and OWI third from 1997, and OWI fourth from 2003. <laughs> I knew it. Criminal I fucking knew it. Nine from 2006. Right, I need to take a break. This man right now. He he's so upset that she's telling him he's not allowed to interrupt like the other attorney. He's so fucking angry that he has to like physically communicate to the judge that he is a threatening presence. I wish they could just rule that he's an asshole that won't follow court proceedings so he's guilty of being a dickhead, but that's a can of expired worms that shouldn't be opened. I, I understand where you're coming from. If only we could convict someone of being a dickhead, but then also try them for, like, the actual crimes that they are on trial for. Hello, baby. Oh, big yawn. Did you have to go outside? Did you go outside? Yes. Okay. One second, guys. I'm gonna put on a songin. Put on a little background music because I think Demona has to go uh outside. She's gotta go pee. So we'll just where where's the one that I normally listen to? I can't find the one that I normally listen to, so we'll put on this one. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, come on, let's go. Let's go.
downstairs. I can't really do that and stream. <laughs> Sometimes she just like gets bored of where we are. Sometimes she just she's like, ah, I'm bored of being in this room. I want to go somewhere else. It's like, I can't do that when I'm streaming, sweetie. Wait, what the fuck? Where did where did ghost cunt come up? I gotta I gotta <laughs> refresh myself on the chat. Uh, prosecutors must have been exhausted. They were helping him call witnesses and things like that because he was on his own and he acted like an entitled little shit and he was so rude to them. Yeah, I fuck. Even when you're trying to help them, they're fucking assholes half the time. Any, any spare edibles? I'm gonna need some after this. I do, but they're. CBG. I don't know if. Oh, wait. CBN? What the fuck is CBN? I don't even know what I have in front of me. Sorry. I. Uh, family friend who also has fibromyalgia came over Friday. That's why I didn't stream on Friday. Uh, she brought me weed. I've never heard of CB, CBG or CBN, but she fucking gave me some, so I'll use it. I'm not gonna turn down free weed. Uh, he's actually file five. He's such a good child. Demon, Demona. Uh, how many better behave children? Fuck Fagos. Fu oh, I'm sorry. You were asking for fuck Fagos. I'm stupid. But that's why. Fa that's why Fagos got brought up. <laughs> Speaking of children, his mom blamed society for his behavior at sentencing. Ha. Even though he has a personality disorder, those are environmental, meaning she at least indirectly she is at least indirectly responsible for exposing him to something that shattered his connection to humanity, but she took absolutely no accountability for raising a violent sociopath. It was really incredible. I fully fucking believe that. Also, Danny Girl, thank you for the subscription. I hope you enjoy your time here. That was very sweet. Oh, wait, look, who's... Who's all oh, clever fox? You're the sweet one. See, I never, I, I don't immediately notice uh, until like the multi dings start, and it's just like, oh, who's being a sweet bitch? It was clever fox. Everybody say thank you, thank you, clever fox. Uh, God, twenty nine gift subs. Dang, dang. Dang. I should put Fuck Fagos on in. Oh, hang on. Fuck Fagos. That'll be. Oh no, why isn't it the first thing that. Hang on, maybe it's because I have Fuck in the title. What if I do. Ah, there's the bitch. Okay. So, that can play the next time I need to step away for a minute. I haven't prepared. I should, that should just be, like, my default. Like, I need to step away to take, you know what? I do need to take a piss. I'll be back. Go. 
close. Yes, Conifer, I apologize. I only have... Well, why did I close that? I'm gonna need that again. You fucking... You heckin... That's the one. Okay, I'll just pause that for later. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, 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 thanks. Yes, uh, I, I have one emote. I'm sorry, I will try to make more. But I have one <laughs> so far. I apologize! I too many things on my plate. Always having a stare down with me. It's very disrespectful. He Eternal Storyteller! Hi, Eternity! Frankly, it makes me scared. You scroll up, I explain the difference between the weeds. <gasps> oh! Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme a weed after me. CBN is often used as a sedative and can produce a mild high CBG, though less abundant and thus pricier, is known for its muscle relaxing properties and could be helpful in the treatment of anxiety and depression. I wish you gave me more of the CBG. Damn it. The ones I have left are just CBN. Fuck. Fuck it up. Okay, well, I did take one CBG earlier today. Actually, wait, was it? Eh. Yep, CBG. So, uh, here's hoping that actually fucking kicks in and does something. Because, Lord knows, my legs still fucking hurt. So, as we record this, we are coming to the end ah. of the Darrell Brooks trial. Ever. Ah. Okay, where's, where's, where's more of this shit? This fucker. Uh, Excuse me. Sorry, my legs are getting stuck on things. Caught up a tree, cheered. Hype train incoming! Woo, 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 Also, thank you for the explanation. What's, what do you mean, what's the Patreon name? Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, that felt nice. Cheer. I changed shatters. <coughs> <coughs> oh, thank you. Oh. It reminds me I should smoke. I woke up with a migraine. I keep forgetting weed can help. Weed is fucking a miracle in that regard. How in the goddamn are we on level four already? I have no idea, but it's awesome. Does Demona like watching PBS Kids? I have three dogs and they love watching PBS Kids. Um, I mean, I've never put it on for her. Uh, I'll surmise, you know? She, she doesn't really pay attention to whatever stuff I'm watching. She sort of just wants to snuggle. Okay, so, uh, he says he's moved on. Oh, okay, this is an hour, so maybe we check into this. Ugh, what a piece of shit. In spite of the clear language that was used by her. Are you gonna talk? I'm not gonna fire back. There you go. <laughs> not gonna do that. Oh, now you're tr now you're playing the part of the bigger person. Sure, bitch. Corrupted Scarecrow subscribed with Prime. Thank you for the subscription. That's very sweet. Am I angry? Hell yeah. So the thing that you've attempted to do to literally everyone in the courtroom. Fester over it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But so what? I'm angry that I am forced to deal with the consequences of my actions. I wanted to just drive through a crowd of people and walk home that day. 
How dare you hold me accountable? Like, he, he's so fucking angry that he, he's, be, he's effectively being forced to take responsibility for being a piece of shit. Because guaranteed, his whole life, he's never had to take responsibility for being a piece of shit. When it boils down to it, the whole prosecution team had a job to do. And they did it flawlessly. Can't be mad at somebody for doing their job. But you were mad at the judge for doing her job. You you were mad at the other at the prosecution for doing their job. Like he's outright saying, Yeah, I can't be mad at them after he was being mad at them. <laughs> this dude Attorney Daisy, Attorney Witchow, I, I respect you guys. Attorney what? I thought he said Attorney Bitchow. Attorney Daisy, Attorney Witchow, I, I oh, respect Richow, you okay. guys. Caught Regardless of what you make. This guy's fucking wacky. Yeah, that's for sure. Feel about me. I respect you guys. I really do. I respect you too, Attorney Opera. Press X to doubt. The difference between the all you all you guys is you, Attorney Opera. I don't respect how you did your job, and I never will. <laughs> Can't be mad at someone for doing their job. Proceeds to talk about how he's mad at someone for doing his job. Share. Choo choo. Choo choo. Choo choo. The whole reason he drove through those people was because he was trying to beat up Erica and she got away slash back to her friends. It came out at sentencing that he was actually berating her over the phone from jail. That what he did that day was her fault. <gasps> oh, that. That makes, like, him bringing her in to, like, further traumatize her during the court proceedings so much fucking worse if that's the case. But I refuse to be to civil. Be in the name calling. I refuse <laughs> to raise my voice. I refuse to be Yeah, I will just, like, non-verbally communicate threat towards the judge and, like, imply that these guys are, are deplorable and actively use manipulation tactics against the, the court because I'm a stupid little bitch baby who can't take no for an answer. And I realized that last night. The part of me that I don't understand... Why it goes the way it goes. Had every intention to come in here and, 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 and lay into you. Out of frustration and out of the fact of feeling that I needed to defend myself by some of the things you said. I need to defend myself from the truth. How you had the audacity to speak on situations that had nothing to do with this tragedy. As if Motherfucker, you brought her up! Like, you brought up the fact that she was a bad mom. I think the fact that you forced her into becoming a mom when she was a child comes into play there. Wow, he really be out here thinking that, like, Everybody's circumstances as a result circumstances as a result of the awful things that he does to them is their fault. If you were there, as if you had intimate details, as if you Bitch, you were convicted! All they have to do is look at the court records. Through everything that led up to those allegations. And he still he was convicted and he still calls them allegations. So obviously, like, in his mind, it's not true. And he's trying to get into other people's minds that it's not true. It, it's not 
his convictions, it's his allegations. So he's already downplaying. I mean, already, like, he hasn't been doing it this whole time. Hey, B, I have the video of him stacking boxes around himself in <laughs> the courtroom in an attempt to hide from the camera if you want a link to it. I... <laughs> Laurel Bora Creations just gave another ten gifts. Thank you, Laura Boro. That was very sweet of you. Everybody say thank you! Uh, yes. That would be interesting to see. I still have you on Discord, right? Yes, if, if you have a link to that. I, uh... Oh. Drawing. Sorry, we're talking about the the croquette situation. I'm filling people in on that. Uh, the croquette situation was literally a young artist being bullied off of TikTok for not drawing or for for drawing a certain way. And then when people started pointing out that what people were doing the croquette was literally just cyberbullying, they started like posting around these like screenshots that couldn't be verified in order to claim that croquette was racist because they said the n-word but like you couldn't the screenshot was like like you couldn't prove that it was croquette or like they didn't make an effort to prove that it was croquette and like I i'm sorry if you bully someone and then when someone calls you out for bullying you have to actively go out of your way to find reasons to after the fact justify your bullying you're still a piece of fucking shit. I don't care if, like, Croquette said a slur, like, a couple years ago. You don't, like, you didn't know about that when you started bullying them. You were bullying them because their art was, like, something you thought was ugly. You fucking piece of shit. Don't try and pull this, like, moral crusader bullshit. Oh, they were racist anyways, so they deserved it. You didn't know that! We don't even know that's true! Ugh. You love the Cthulhu animation? I'm glad that it's getting some heckin' use. Maybe one of these days I'll redo it. Uh, but I'm glad... Actually, I don't have him in there. That account has been lost due to two-factor authentication failing. Okay, uh, if you tell me what to search, I can just search it in the YouTube search bar. That could... Uh, wait. What if I search Daryl Brooks box for it? For ah! <laughs> if the bailiff could confirm, well, he put him on top, he put him on the floor. That's his right. They're not in front of him, but it's by his own conduct that he's done that. The record should reflect Mr. Brooks is muted because he wants to continue to debate with this court about my prior ruling regarding his uh, forfeiture by conduct of his right to present further evidence on his behalf. I guess that's good. So at the very least, at some point, they did decide that he was interrupting the court too much and he lost the right to, to, to present shit in his defense. I mean, seems off, like similar concerns, but like I completely fucking understand it and I'm glad it happened. I know one of the things I probably need to look at, I'm not sure if Madam Clerk did this or not, would be the language from the amendment from the amended information on count uh, 70. Fuck. 
fine. You don't listen to me? Fine. We'll, we'll see how things go. Like, he's clearly still talking to himself. 76. The 76 count. Just want to make... It says near frame park, so it is in there. But that was just one question I had. All right. Um, so, state have any requests as it relates to the jury instruction? Yeah, I'm just going through each one. I'm on page 50 of 107. Everything's looking great so far. Okay. I, fair enough. There's 107 pages. I certainly can give the parties some time to continue to read through them. Curious to see what this fort looks like. He only seems to have these three boxes. Or does he have more boxes that are hidden away? So he just hit himself? I don't know if I'd call this a box fort so much as a box barrier. Like, it, it seemed like he was... Look, what is this? <laughs> like, like, what? <laughs> just... Peek. Peek. G. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> yeah, like, when you said box for it, I was expecting, like, a box over here, box over here, box on top, and then his stupid little head poking out. <laughs> yeah, like... He's, he's clearly using the box to hide his disrespectful physical motions, which is weird because up until this point, from what I've uh, gleaned, is like he has openly been displaying his disrespectful physicality. So, like, the, why he feels the need to hide it now? Does he think that the judge is going to be so fucking curious as to what he's doing that she's going to demand his box for it be destroyed? Is he gonna get upset because she tore down his Berlin box wall? I'm hating. What a fucking child. Like, on, on the opposite, this could be like a soothing jest. I... Okay, the way his, his chair was jiggling there, I thought he was motioning that he was jerking off. <laughs> that legit caught me off guard for a second. Uh, uh, yeah, I wonder if this is, like, a child thing. Because, like... Like, children build box forts. Children build forts. And sometimes the reason they do so is, like, for coping mechanisms in, situ in like, stressful situations or stressful environments. Is that what he's doing? Is, is this his... Is this him reverting to, a, like, a childlike state and creating a box fort to soothe himself when he rec recognizes that he can no longer manipulate the court in the manner that he wants to? Ah, uh, excuse me. So, what I'm getting from this is I should just read it that he's having a childlike temper tantrum. That's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna read it as. It's just more of him being a child. She does not. I know he's muted, but I can certainly hear him from this. <laughs> he appears to be yelling at the top of his lungs. Is he? I know he's muted, but. He was like straight up fucking screaming. Hey, I don't know if you guys can hear this. Hang on. Like maybe I'm hearing something else. But it it sounded like he was screaming behind that box. Maybe, maybe that's why he built the fort, was to hide the fact, oh, you know what? Maybe he was so angry that she muted him that he wanted to lash out, 
but also recognized that that would look really bad. So he hid his face so that he could lash out without it being on camera. But, like, obviously he's screaming, so he's still trying to get the judge to hear him. So he wants her to know how fucking angry he is. But he's also hiding it from the court cameras. And again, gaslighting her by hiding himself, so, like, making her think, like, oh, he's not yelling, he's not being disruptive. Well, she can fucking hear him! I know he's muted, but I can certainly hear him from this side. He appears to be yelling at the top of his lungs. I can't decipher what he's yelling. He's definitely swearing at her. Oh, it didn't work. Shit, better make myself look like I'm busy. <laughs> God damn. Literal tantrum. I hope someone pisses in his soup. Fuck yeah. As I said before, I'll say once again, I'll give props to the judge for ignoring him. Yeah, she was phenomenal here. I j Hi, I just joined. Hope your legs are okay. I broke my left arm so I could feel you. I am so sorry to hear that. I hope that you heal quickly and that your arm is nice and healthy after the fact. Just by reading the police report. Wait, he's upset that they got their understanding of what happened from the police report? You were convicted! Obviously they decided the, the police report was fucking right. I think every situation is unique in its own way. It all has different circumstances that. Yes, child rape is bad, but my situation is unique in that I have an excuse for it. That leads to ultimately the ends up happening. Oh, and his excuse is what led to him being a statutory rapist. Okay, so again, not taking fucking responsibility. Reading the police report doesn't give you the right to pass judgment on a situation that, frankly, is none of your concern. When you're convicted, it, it literally does in a court setting that, yes, you are being judged by your care on your character. What, what are you talking about? You can't judge me. Fuck you. Oh, well, goodbye, Laura Boro Creations. Have a good day. Goodbye, Aiden X Link. Aiden Link, have a good sleep. Honestly, you would think for someone that's been doing your job as long as you have. I feel like this guy isn't allowed to say the word honestly. You would think you would be better. Understand at it. that. <laughs> he really out here being like, "You're a lawyer, so you should." understand that you're not allowed to judge people based on their past convictions <laughs> in what fucking reality oh my god now he's gaslighting the lawyers this isn't how you do your job you do your job in the way that lets me go free good morning have you eaten staying hydrated taken any meds if you need them if i had some meds i would take them i have water and i have eaten i had hot chicken not in that chicken was hot, but that in that was basically chicken poutine on bread. It's like a hi baby, like a, a turkey leftover sandwich, except with chicken and no peas. Hi, do you have to go outside? Yeah. Okay, now you want to go outside. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Um, you know the drill. Something strange in your Discord chats. What you gonna say? Fuck, go. If there's something weird and it don't look good, what 
trying desperately to get Demona to actually go for her fucking morning walkies. She decided to put it off. Um, and now she wants to go for walkies. End me, I guess. So, I gotta go get dressed and take the baby for walkies. Uh, if I get dressed and she goes outside and then she decides she doesn't want to go for walkies anymore, I'm gonna be pissed. But you'll know it happened because I'll be back in 15 minutes. Anyways, we're gonna take a break here. Um... I will be back. I will be back after walkies. What is this song about? I'm so lost. What did I miss? Uh, this song is Fuck Fay Ghost. It's about a piece of shit. Being a piece of shit. <laughs> That's all you get. Anyways, I'm gonna go take the motor for walkies. You guys, if you haven't eaten, or if you need to go to the bathroom, or if you need to, like, well, what Miss All Dragon did, if you need to, like, check Take your check your meds. If you need to take your meds, do that. Uh, and we will meet back after I return from walkies. So see you guys in a bit. Bye. Oh wait, I have